um, one of the big announcements that Facebook uh, made yesterday that I actually picked up, I think, on allfacebook.com was... Um, it's like breaking news. Yeah, so uh, they're releasing Places Powered Deal Service for brands, which is really, really exciting. I'm actually stoked because I, myself, with my developers have built a similar solution. So Facebook was behind. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish, but uh, it's pretty awesome. So basically this new product, well, it's not really a new product, it's an addition to their Places product, but um, this deal service is um, a great way for local brands to connect with their customers So it's customers kind of Facebook. like, you know, we're, we're talking about this and it's kind of like Groupon. It's very, yeah. it it's has very, a very similar, similar like, you know, the places, the Facebook yeah. places is kind of like Foursquare. Yeah. So this is kind of like taking a place of Groupon. So yeah. I'm not really sure if they're going to partner up somehow or do, you know, we're not really sure what's going to happen yet. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just pretty awesome. You basically can check in on your iPhone and then unlock a deal. And it's just a really, really cool way for Facebook to utilize places and for developers to obviously build off of places API and I'm really excited to kind of see brands starting to use it especially since Facebook, it's good for small businesses yeah right? I mean that's well, basically if they can afford it but um I don't know it's just going to be pretty awesome to see how it's going to play out and it'll be fun to see how it'll affect the rest of the kind of localized deal services. Yeah, because Yelp is doing localized deals, Groupon, yeah. there's a lot of, you know, yeah. actually SF Gate, I think, is doing them because I'm getting them every day from oh, SF Gate. Yeah. yeah, and I see new ones pop up all the time. So it'll see, it'll be interesting to see how Facebook, obviously having yeah. more than 50 million uh, users can really kind of leverage themselves off something like that. Yeah, yeah. well, maybe we could talk about small, you know, uh, the benefit of small businesses using those kind of services, mm -hmm. because I know I, I've been reading a lot of articles that say, you know, like, I, I wish I've never used Groupon, and I wish, you know, like, from small yeah. business owners. So what would be, we could talk about the benefits of yeah. what? So mm -hmm. it, that's actually an interesting point you bring up, because uh, the guy who started Groupon spoke at startup school, which, yeah. so I got to um, watch him speak a couple weeks ago. And um, somebody had asked him about how, how all of that's going and are, are people complaining about Groupon? Have there been, you know, like there, I believe there's some negative press a couple Yeah, that's what, you ago. know, that's what I, that's why I thought, you know, what we could suggest some different yeah. ways of do, doing promotions if you're a small business. On but according website. to him, he said that they actually have uh, great customer feedback and they're not having any issues. So I would still recommend Groupon as yeah. a good way to go. Yeah, because personally, we both live in the San Francisco area, and I, I want to see the restaurants, and I want to see, yeah. I want to try new things, and yeah. it's a really, it's something that I do use, and yeah. it's also great with big brands like Gap. I remember they did the promotion where it was like, you could buy like a $50 gift certificate mm -hmm. for 25 bucks. Yeah. I know, yeah. I just bought, what was it, uh, 35 hot yoga classes for $37. <laughs> I mean, wow. that's, that's like a free. ridiculous deal. Was yeah. it on Groupon? Yeah, it was on Groupon. Yeah. So, I mean, they have a bunch of cool deals. I would not believe all the negative rumors going around. I think that they have a great customer experience, both on brand side and on the B2B and with, uh, you know, Yeah, I mean, for them, it's like B2B. Side. It's their B2B yeah. for them because, and then once you are, if you are a small business and you do have, you know, do a promotion with Groupon, I think the most important thing is to actually keep those customers after they do yeah. come with a coupon, you have to really, have provide really good customer service for them yeah. to come back and that's what it's all about you know that you you don't want them just to come once yeah. you want to keep your customers so I think you know I think a lot of people just get disappointed because people just come once and then they don't yeah. return so I think it's it's working on your customer service and keeping your customers yeah and I mean I think that keeping your customers happy in general is just such an important um, touch point that a lot of companies kind of lose sight of when they're just starting out because they're so focused on the product that yes. they're not really focused on their yeah. um, customer service and customer retention. So yeah. it's definitely something, um, I would actually love to have a speaker come in and talk about that sometime in the next few Yeah, weeks. because you know, right now it's the era of customer service. It's all about service. Yeah. It's a service sector, no matter what business you're in, you're serving yeah. somebody. 
Yeah. yeah. And I mean, so with, with so many new companies and so many new websites popping up on a weekly basis, you're always going to have competition. And so I feel like customer service and customer experience. Yeah, like Zappos, really you know, like we could use Zappos yeah. as an example. You know, that's, that's how they grew so large is because their customer service is so great that you can return anything you want. And they're, they're always so nice. And yeah. they know you personally on the phone. It's just yeah. a really great example to yeah, look at definitely. as far as customer service goes. Well, perfect. So um, I think we're about wrapped on uh, content for today. But yeah. um, I want to tell you guys about some of the other stuff that we have coming up uh, really, really soon here. One of uh, those things being the uh, Web 2.0 Summit after party. Yes, we're going to be hosting the after party. And I know it's going to be late at night. But if you're really, you know, it's going to be on a Monday night. It's yeah. going to be on November 15th. So if you can't sleep or whatever, just definitely tune in onto our channel. It's going to be streamed live from our channel. How about but, you just tune in? I know, just tune in and leave it on. Pop some popcorn <laughs> and watch us talk. Do some them. shots with us because we'll be go. doing shots live with people. That would be so from, much fun. Uh, oh my gosh. From the party. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. And we'll definitely be interviewing some big heavyweight uh, industry influencers. Yeah, and there's actually going to be, you know, like hip hop artists there there and All other people really athletes people. so yeah. we'll definitely get you know a mix of people not just technology because i know you know like sometimes it's fun to throw in yeah a mix definitely. a different mix and uh yeah so that's gonna be our next big event yeah and we're gonna i think next week we're gonna have a speaker yes um i'm not gonna tell you guys who it is yet it's a surprise it's so a surprise to but tune in it. it'll be pretty cool we've been working on um really pulling together a great calendar of speakers for you guys so i really hope you're looking forward to it yeah and we usually you know it's all it's startups and vcs and entrepreneurs so if you yeah. guys have somebody that you want us to interview definitely let us know and you can email us at geeksuncensored at gmail.com or at us on twitter at geeksuncensored and so. we'll always be telling you guys who the speaker is a couple days in advance so you can, so you can send in your question. questions yeah please send us questions because it's really easy for us to ask the questions and we can make it a lot of fun and engaging and yeah. if you're on the live stream you can ask the questions right away and we'll definitely make it fun and definitely bring the alcohol in Yay. awesome yes. well thank you guys so much for tuning into our uh shorter segment today but yeah i think we're going to keep them 30 minutes uh so a little bit under yeah and just because we want to create content we don't want to just uh we're sick of babbling at you guys, so we're just going to go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we want to create good content, yeah. and that's why we're keeping it short and sweet. So enjoy your weekend, and, and tune uh, in next, next week. week. Bye, guys. Bye.